iOS 14.4, no PC jailbreak releasing soon with a new exploit? Really? Well, I'll try to answer this and I'll break it down for you. When we are going to see an iOS 14.4, no PC jailbreak, what is the best iOS to stay on and we'll cover some Odyssey iOS 14 to 14.3 jailbreak updates. Any release date, ETA, because hey, I want to scoop you with frequent jailbreak updates. Drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more and let's go ahead and keep rolling. Just so you guys know what's going on, last week Modern Poner released an iOS 14 exploit for all iPhones. iPhone 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 12 Pro Max. Well this seems interesting because an exploit is needed to create a jailbreak and it is one of the most important parts. If found, it's more than likely to be turned into a jailbreak and it's very difficult to get hands on one. This is very good news for those who are on iOS 14.3. But what about those who are not subscribed to this channel and as a result unintentionally updated their iPhones to iOS 14.4? You see what I did there? So basically we have two sections of people here. One for those who are on iOS 14.4 and 14.5. The exploit is available, the exploit will be released but not yet released. Jailbreak tools are not updating because they are waiting for the exploit to be released. Second type of people iOS 14 to iOS 14.3. The exploit for them is available. The exploit is released. Jailbreak tools are updating. You'll soon see a jailbreak. Alrighty. So that simply means an exploit for iOS 14 to 14.3 is released. But what about those who are on iOS 14.5 or iOS 14.4 because they can not go back to iOS 14.3 because it's no longer signed. This is crazy. Buckle up. The guy who made the iOS 14.3 exploit also has an exploit for iOS 14 and 14.5 which is pretty cool. How do I know? If you go to the GitHub page where everything about the exploit is mentioned, the current state, the vulnerability which is CVE 2021-1782, they write up and all that good stuff. So. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see here, maybe we'll post a PAC bypass along with the iOS 14.5 exploit. This is in progress, but we may publish the iOS 14.5 exploit after Apple patch. Now what the heck this means? And before we mention that, you might ask, like it says iOS 14.5 here. We are talking about the iOS 14.4 exploit. So. If we go back to their tweet, they mentioned iOS 14.3 kernel level exploit, which obviously works for iOS 14.2 and 14.1. And this exploit is for iOS 14.5. So obviously this works on iOS 14.3, 14.4 and all the iOS below iOS 14.5, which is pretty obvious. And second of all, they say we may publish the exploit after Apple patch. This is not confirmed. Well, I agree with you, but did they mention anything about the iOS 14.3 exploit that they just released? They just came out of nowhere, like they just literally gave us an exploit, make a jailbreak out of it. So now here they mentioned that they may release the exploit. So I think they are going to because when they didn't mention anything, they still released an exploit. Like this is not a good justification, I know, but like. I think they are going to release the exploit, but this is not 100% confirmed. Now what the heck this means, uh, release after Apple patch and all the good stuff. So what is going to happen now? They are going to release the exploit once Apple patches it with iOS 14.6. Again, this is my prediction about the release date if they ever decide to. So expect iOS 14.6 about on 20th or 30th March. This may vary a little bit. So this is again not official but rather my wild guess in the air. iOS 14.6 in the end of the March. Then give about two weeks for Coolstar to add iOS 14.4 and 14.5 support. So about in the mid of April, you'll see an iOS 14.4 and 14.5 jailbreak if we are lucky enough. Again, this is just my prediction. There is a chance that they won't even release the exploit. But hey, let's hope for the best. And I know this is a bummer that you have to wait for so long to get a jailbreak, but like something is better than nothing. And why you updated to iOS 14.4 at the first place? 
and yes i understand it's not your fault if your phone automatically updates so do these four things to save your last chance to jailbreak ios 14.4 for all devices and before we go over those four things please react with the peace emoji thingy so that i can know how many real people actually watch these videos it takes a lot of time gotta do editing scripting uploading and so so much more so here are those four things turn off automatic updates when you're asleep your phone will automatically try and update itself this is obviously what we don't want because we want to stay on the lowest and don't want our devices to be updating every now and then so please 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 do it right away because it's really really important it just takes less than five seconds to turn off automatic updates here's how you do it settings scroll down general software update wait for it to load automatic updates turn off install ios updates it will not install ios updates overnight and if you can even turn off download ios updates with this it won't even download those updates as you can see with this i am running this iphone 11 on ios 14.2 and with this new jailbreak i'll be happily jailbreaking this iphone subscribe now now look i know it's gonna help me out for sure but you too like you'll get notified if you press the bell icon as soon as i release a video you'll know which ios to stay on and you can always unsubscribe later like it sounds a bit too much on the side of the spectrum where it's just gonna help me out but seriously i really intend to help you rather than get a single subscriber like i don't know please do it stay on lowest as possible whether you are on ios 14.0.1 or even 14.4 just stay wherever you are do not update make a twitter account follow odyssey jailbreak modern poner geo snow and turn on all tweet notifications because they are always tweeting about the jailbreak news and all that good stuff so you can stay on top you can also follow uncover team check rain team and so many more you can also follow me if you want to but you're not going to get any serious value out of my tweets. I just randomly tweet here and there. But I follow those people who tweet about good jailbreak news and all that good stuff. So here's one thing you can do. You can follow everyone I follow. So that way you stay on top with the jailbreak news. Really, it's all about sitting on a firmware and waiting. I remember when iPadOS 14.4 brought a lot of cool features. I thought I'd update to iPadOS 14.4, but I still decided to stick with iOS 14.0.1 or rather iPadOS 14.0.1 and here you go, within a few days, I'll be jailbreaking my iPad Pro with the new Odyssey jailbreak. Talking about the Odyssey jailbreak, here's what their Twitter has to say. If we scroll down, Odyssey jailbreak running on cars, Odyssey jailbreak running outside windows, uh, I'd better not say that. Odyssey jailbreak running on TVs. Well, again, Coolstar is not ready to give ETAs. Uh, look, I know it takes a lot of time and effort developing jailbreaks, but it is what it is and there are no ETAs. Like someone said this about them and they replied, no one cares about ETAs and all that good stuff. Either way, that's been it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Drop a like down below if you did and I'll catch you all very soon. Peace.